So I'm not sure if you've heard, um, but The Sims did kind of announce that there is a werewolves pack coming out June 16th um, to use the American way of doing dates. And you know what? I'm actually really excited about this. I mean, I, if you follow me on Twitter and like if you watch my last video, you know, I'm, I've, I'm like, I've been excited for werewolf since basically that there was the first teaser teaser of it right um i love occults anyway in the sims i know i'm one of those people um and well speak to me more as well because um i was a cat girl in school and not like an actual cat girl i was a girl who thought i was a cat i was i, I was a right weirdo let's just say all right and i wanted to put i wanted to put a video out on it okay because even though i did a video on werewolves yesterday i mean werewolves weren't officially confirmed so we weren't like a hundred percent sure and um, we were like 99.98% sure. But you know, um, there's that. So I thought today, and I was like, I wanted to do a video, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, if that makes sense. And like what I wanted to say. Um, but in the end, I've settled on this. We're going to go through the trailer. Um, and we're going to have a look through the trailer. And we're going to like try and catch things in there. I mean, there's some things I've seen on Twitter already. That's super exciting. Okay, so we're going to look through the trailer, basically, and I'm just going to pause and, like, comment on things. So if you haven't seen the trailer already, I'm going to link that in the description below. I'll also try and put a little information card at the top as well, um, just so you can see. Um, and I'd recommend you go watch that fully before you continue watching this, um, just because, obviously, it's not going to be so fun watching the trailer for the first time when it's stopping and starting, if that makes sense. Um, obviously there's a spoiler already because it already says Sims 4 Wells official reveal trailer. Um, but before like, anyway, anyway, let's just get on with it. Um, again, I've never done anything like this before, so bear with me. Okay, so the first thing that, that strikes me was the music and that door. Um, it's weird. So if I go back, um, so there's this door here, right? I love this door. Um, mainly because now my kind of like abandoned um, or like uh, suspicious basements um, make sense. Um, and I've got a special door to go with that. Um, and the yellow stairs as well. I love these industrial looking stairs. I and mean, we've got like one set of like industrial looking stairs. But I think these are, oh, they strike me more if that makes sense. Okay. That sofa as well is absolutely gorgeous. Love the patchwork. Um, really gives me like uh, the hermit from Outdoor Street vibes, weirdly enough. Okay, and then again, there's this. There's um people like exercising here that we just missed. Um, a new punching bag by the looks of it as well. We haven't had... I think we're, going, we're just going to have quite a lot of beaten up looking exercise equipment. Again, that's going to be great. I, I'm looking forward to that. The smashed mirror as well. That's seven years bad luck for them. But I mean, I think it's already pretty bad luck being a werewolf sometimes. Um, it's not very, it's not very comfortable being a werewolf, I don't think. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, swimming in the lake as well. Um, see how it's sparkling here? Um, you can obviously see the full moon reflected in there. That's, um, again, foreshadowing. I could talk about, like, the foreshadowing elements of this if you want. I could do a, a whole narrative al analysis of this if you really want to, but I'm not going to. But, um, I saw someone on Twitter the other day, and I really can't remember who it was. Um, so this was you. I really apologise if you, like, leave a comment or something like that. I will, of course, credit you. Um, that said, maybe there's something, like the sparkles in the lake might have transformative properties and might be what makes people into wells which really gives me h2o just add water vibes and it really does annoy me that they didn't do anything like that in island living um yeah is it island living yeah island living anyway it really annoys me that they didn't do that because um excuse me i want to live my clear moment and ricky is like uh the best uh mermaid i'm just gonna say okay moving on so this is the first look of the town. It's called Moon Moonwood Mills, which, um, or Moonwood Mill or something like that. And it's a, it's kind of like a sleepy industrial looking town. It's all very rough looking, this neighborhood or, or this town. Um, and I quite like that. Um, you know, it really gives me uh, industrial factory town in England vibes as well. I mean, you know, I grew up near the factories in my hometown. So it's, it's kind of nostalgic, you know, except if they didn't look as cute as this. And obviously we've got this um, sim running and she's from the main um, thing and we see hints of little wolves running about um, and like just the transformation and all that. I love this. 
again another view of the town in the moonlight and can you see here the moon as well it's in a different phase right so we saw the, the full moon earlier so th does this mean i think this means that we're getting moon phases in the sims 4 with this pack which is absolutely amazing that's something that's going to be moving on from or continuing on from supernatural in the sims 3 uh which was my favorite pack of all time um and i really miss supernatural okay because i used to play in that town constantly and not just because i love love twilight and it gives me my um twilight vibes but mainly because of that see that as well that's um i'm guessing that's like the bite mark it really does kind of like confuse me why they gave kind of gave a long sleeve and if the bite marks there because surely hopefully at least it's not just going to be red forcing light hopefully we're going to have like some kind of bite or scratch mark there um as well after you've like been bitten by a were werewolf or like had a fight with one or something like that and hopefully it actually shows up as a scar because i saw from the um from the box art as well that there were scars in someone's thigh and I, lo I love the idea of getting more scars in the sims i think that's, that's great because a lot of people have scars and obviously everyone wants kind of like that representation so yeah um oh and she's getting like flashes baby and oh nice nice place to spot so she's kind of like oh i like that tree i'm sorry i was gonna say something but then i saw that tree also i kind of like the whole patchwork kind of hipstery vibes again it's very much a young person's pack i think but i mean some of these clothes could probably be translatable into elders and i'd love the idea of like an elder werewolf like um you know taking you under their wing and like teaching you the ways of the werewolf and that and that's quite cool and again that tree man i love anything with moons and stars on it um you can see from my duvet and like anything celestial like that i love um but that's just me there might be new plants as well um i'm not sure that looks like wolfsbane to me and i can't remember whether wolf wolfsbane came in with vampires or not um because it um because obviously it had wolfsbane in the sims 3 um and if you don't already then we do now so i wonder what they're doing there this sim this sim with the blue hair i want to marry them okay okay since i saw the box art for this pack i was i have fallen in love with this werewolf sim right look at them look at the hair i don't care about this person this person can can suck it for like a although that does look like a meat sandwich i that they're holding there or some kind of raw meat so does that mean well since can wear uh, can eat raw, raw meat which sounds good also the burning um the burning trash is including that plant that's in like every bird that's really ugly i kind of love that and i love the idea of like this little trailer information center you know yes get the mama I love that hair as well. Some people don't want it with the braid. I kind of like the little wolf's wolf tail braid. Um, and new earrings as well. You can see that. Obviously, you can see a bunch of new crates of items in that. But I just wanted to pause on her face just for a second because I am in love. Okay. Moving on. She's like, no. Excuse me. An underground bunker. I like that they're showing off the different crater sim path um like items as well like different vibes see that's more raw meat just everywhere like it looks like a cutely decorated um um raw meat platters which is quite cute i mean you know living out my bougie werewolf vibes man Oops, sorry. including a nursery so oh. again i've gone past it this as well i saw this in the, in the trailer first and i love that there's also something magical about it which i kind of love look at that little mushroom pot as well that is so cute i love these little items they're so cute look at that it's oh everything to do with moons and stars man i love it again this here is showing off the moon phases if i start that again see the moon faces there and full moon and she's transformed into a bubble and the transformation looks painful and vicious and i love it and can i just say i love the werewolf body type as well mommy
like I love how even like the females or the feminine frame sims like in werewolves they 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 have the wolf frame like they don't have like these massively anthropomorphized like wolf boobs or whatever because I mean that's been a problem that's always played like werewolf media right is that like if you're transforming into some kind of a wolf person right you got you're gonna have a similar anatomy to a wolf and wolves as far as I'm aware unless they're pregnant or or just had babies they don't have boobs and can you see here people were wondering about like uh customization for fur and that there is actually full customization for the fur pattern and um you can see that here with uh the blue um kind of like her hair in real life um you can also see some like wolfy eyes and i'm pretty sure those don't come with vampires so those are new eyes as well um i love those dog tags as well see look you can see here um full wolf customization um territorial pissing um as fake down the girl says and did you see that little toddler just howling in his little wolf onesie that is so adorable you can have like fights for dominance or something that's great that will, you can have cowardly werewolves or something yeah mommy won Nice. <laughs> so it also looks like you can have more cat like looking werewolves, which is quite fun because cat girl right here. And then this final shot of this has been on the home screen of The Sims game um, since last night. Um, as in like the actual Sims 4 like, home screen. And do you see that there? That kind of looks like a portal to something. Maybe a rabbit hole. Maybe some another world like um, in Glimmerbrook or something. Um, I don't know. But that looks amazing. Like just everything. It looks gorgeous. And this is totally my, my vibe. Is it like Pacific Northwest or something like that? Um, I'd love to live in a town like this. Like a heavily wooded town. Um industrial you know a real sense of community that's the kind of town i want to live in um i might live in that kind of town i don't know i don't leave the house run wild june 16th 16th of june six days after my birthday um so this again this is a birthday present for me and me alone um thank you sims team also um i don't know where else to put this in the video um so i'm just gonna brag here free three of the sims gurus liked one of my tweets and i'm super excited about that um sim sim guru ninja um sim guru ash and sim guru bats just liked my tweet and i'm like i'm freaking out okay um sorry about my expression just then yeah so i'm super excited you can pre-order it obviously and all that and obviously i'm gonna get it as soon as it comes out because yeah but oh my god, okay, aren't you guys just so excited? Also, can I just mention, like, oh, that's me. Hi, it's me. Um, can, But can I just mention the music in that trailer as well? I really liked it. I love that kind of music. So I, I don't know. Anyway, just I just wanted to point it out. That's so good. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see, because I think the Sims team have updated a website for this or something like that. So I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to have a look and we're going to see what it says, okay? Okay, so this is what's on the Sims website anyway. Um, so they've obviously got a listing for the Sims 4 Werewolves now, so you can pre-order it. And I love, by the way, that they called it Werewolves, like um, they called Vampires Vampires. I don't know why they didn't call Realm of Magic Witches. And I don't know why they called them Spellcasters instead of Witches, to be honest, as well. To me, hmm, I'm not too happy about that, um, personally, because that's just Witch Erasure. And I'm not here for that. Also, my mummy is on the front page and I'm, I'm in love, okay? Um, and obviously, it's got the trailer there and it says it's got key features as well. And it's got some little screenshots of what you can see. Um, so, life on the wild side. What big teeth you'll have. Transform into a werewolf and embrace or fight your animalistic nature. Beyond rocking a fearsome form, werewolf sims... Sims team, put a comma, comma there, please. Okay, anyway, beyond rocking a fearsome form, werewolf sims will have a unique temperaments and abilities. Be affected by the phase of the moon, moon phases, I called it, and experience wolf-like, wolf-specific life events. Um, what does that mean? I did see a hint towards mating on Twitter with the um, ciphers, so 
are we not going to get married? Are we going to like mate? Are we still going to have alpha, beta, omega dynamics in this? Because again, I really don't want that Sims. Please don't give that that to us. Um, unique temperaments and abilities as well. Um, that to me screams skill tree again. Um, didn't get that for mermaids. We got that for spellcasters and we got that for um, vampires. And can I just say... I definitely think that the Sims should always have specific packs for occults. Because I know I've seen a lot of people say, like, we don't have enough occults, or I miss the Sims 3, where you'd get, like, an occult in every pack or whatever, which is all well and good. And I, I kind of appreciate that you think that way. Um, but to me, um, the game pack occults, and that's been proven in the Sims 4, are so much more in depth than the expansion pack occult. Like, my maze, they're kind of boring, not gonna lie, but wells vampires spellcasters the spell trees uh, the skull trees even that's just amazing okay um and again phases of the moon i'm so excited for wolf uh, for move phases in the sims hopefully it affects more than wolves as well um I li i'd like a little bit of expansion on mermaids or or vampires or something with this um spellcasters especially because i don't know if you knew but in like uh, when you're like doing magic and like wicker and paganism and all that um moon phases affect a whole a heck of a lot of things when it comes to magic and also in a, uh, anything they affect the moon phases affect the water and the tides and that which really keys in with the whole um mermaid thing and just vampires are out at night so uh, that's why i think that alpha or lone wolf oh god alphas um anyway craft your werewolf identity were you bitten or were you born into a werewolf family oh i like that already i'm um, acknowledging the storytelling aspect of this game However it happened, now you've got to decide what kind of wolf you want to be. Find a pack to prowl the night with. Meet your fated mate atop Howling Point. Oh my god, no. Um, or shun all, all that and try to make it as, as a lone wolf. Meet your fated mate. Are we going to have soulmates? Is this going to turn into a soulmate AU? Sims team stop, I'm blushing. Um, yeah, and I'm looking at this screenshot now. And something that also stood out to me. Um, so it looks like you can transform into your, you can choose to transform into your wolf form or your human form at will, which makes sense to me, um, because it's always been the, the same in any of the Sims games. It seems like you'll be forced into transformation during the full moon. Um, also looks like that little mood here, um, some kind of like, he wants to raise his, is there like, is that something to do with a wealth skill or something like that? Like he wants to raise his wolfliness. I love the I, I love this one as well. Okay, again, that's my wife. Um, and I'm looking at that tree as well. That's the tree that we saw in the trailer. You can see from that shadow that it's got the um, crescent moon and obviously you can see like the star there. But also it's got this and that's big enough to walk into. So that looks like that's going to be yet another rabbit hole teleportation location maybe, um, which is quite exciting. Um, also, I've read somewhere and I can't remember where I read it, but... Um, there's like two different like clans of wells or something like that. So I think um, that's kind of like the more nature um, kind of like wells and that might be the more rebellious werewolves, which mommy, you know, mommy. Okay. Like mommy. Um, so we all know who I'm going to choose anyway. Okay. And you can, again, you can tell that you can like, you probably will get forced because it's a crescent moon there. So, um, moving on. Um, lycanthrope, um, sorry, lycanthrope lore. There's a lot to learn about werewolves in their origins. Unravel werewolf, vampire, and spellcaster lore as you read books, discover secret tunnels, grow your collection, and interact with denizens on Moonwood Woodmill. Okay, first off, see, discover secret tunnels. Um, but yeah, no, you can see the secret tunnel there. So I've discovered the secret tunnel, mate. Like, I think I'm done with that. Thank you very much. I haven't even got the game yet. I'm like, I found the secret tunnels. Um, well, Vampire and Spellcaster Law, so as I said before, um, it's definitely tying in with all those. And I mean, even looking at the three worlds side by side, they almost look connected in a way. Like, they're all quite um, woody realms. And I can imagine that there's like some kind of connection there. Um, and perhaps um, because of that, like, um, 
there's maybe some more interaction between vampires and werewolves or vampires and um, spellcasters and that. Maybe that will be brought in as well because I love interpack connectivity, right? And um, it really did annoy me that I like a lot. There weren't very many like bleed ons from the werewolf pack. Um, from, sorry, from the vampires and the spellcasters. Um, there might be. I don't actually know of any off the top of my head. There might be some. So if there are, let me know in the comment section down below or whatever. But it looks like they're all getting more connected. And again, like it feels like you could probably say that those worlds are very very close together. Um, like if you were making a Sims map, they'd probably be like next to each other, like neighboring towns or whatever. Um, very exciting again. Uh, grow your collection. Um, that's I mean we've had collections in the Sims um for a long time anyway. There's probably more things. Also look at the well of uh, gnome. That's so cute. Okay. Um, there's probably I'm looking here as well as like little figurines and that. So I'm reckoning that might be the collection. Okay. I'm gonna look at this though. I'm gonna look at this. We're gonna look at this together, right? Because there's some things here um, that's very, very exciting to me. Um, like some items. Scratch claw marks on the floor. That's great. We needed some more of those. Uh, that's recliner. Is it a fully functional recliner? Maybe. It's also got cup holders. That's amazing. Um, we saw that hair already. I love this top, okay? A gorgeous top. Again, the little toddler and the wolf onesie. How adorable. Um, okay, but the thing that's really struck like really strikes me about this look at this mirror look at this mirror and shelf can i get this mirror and shelf i know exactly where i put it in my room oh my god i am actually in love with that okay um and i'm looking at this painting as well this little portrait here um can i like zoom in or something i don't know i'm i'm not gonna i'm actually i'm too scared to um it looks though like that's vlad um with scratch marks for it again that kind of like um that kind of ties into maybe there's like a feud between werewolves and vampires and again in the ciphers that they they um released on twitter recently as well um there was something about um werewolves and vampire like how vampires suck which they do um i'm on the i'm on team werewolf okay i'm sorry i just am now i don't know why but i think i'm more wolfy than vamp okay um or maybe i'm fey i don't know we don't have fairies in the sims yet um <laughs> what in the fucking twilight is going on here i don't know anyway i'm like yeah it's real it's really good okay um how would you like to play blah 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 i'm so excited um, I'm so excited like uh, there's a lot more there's a lot more that's been announced but um, you'll probably have to there's there's like a billion videos that's going to be out okay I already saw that um, Lil Simsy's released hers from the looks of it I love everything about this I've always loved this kind of vibe anyway um, makes me think of being young and I'd love to be young okay of course guys uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter as well if you really want to um, I will be posting constantly about werewolves because I am again super excited um for all this i post about the sims a lot um obviously i also posted a clip about pokemon recently because the new trailer came out yesterday and that was very exciting um but i also kind of like posted about random stuff as well i think i'm kind of funny okay I've, i also do like some poll polls on there and stuff and i like to get people active um but anyway if you got this far in the video um again i'm so grateful i'm so grateful for everyone who's like supporting me and watching my videos and that it really does mean the world to me um i do have some other videos on my channel um if you want to go watch this is like the second video i've got with this microphone and the rest kind of sound like potato um i don't know why i say potato i just do um but obviously they're still there they're still good i've got like three let's play series on my channel as well i've got my um my legacy challenge series i've got my black widow challenge series and i have my 100 ugly babies short lifespan challenge as well um if you so maybe go check those out if you really want to um <sighs> yeah i am I, I have this really weird goal right and i've had it for a couple of months now and it's, just, it's been really slow going but my goal is to get to 50 subscribers by my birthday um which seemed doable at the time there's eight days until my birthday right it's the 2nd of june now my birthday is on the 10th although my sister's facebook did say that her birthday was today and i did get a birthday message this morning from my father um saying happy birthday i'll sort your present out as soon as possible i'm like 
how long have you known me now? Like, I'm 22, almost 23 years old. Like, yeah. I did worry for a minute, though, that I'd um, forgotten my sister's birthday. And then I realised, oh, wait, no, we're twins. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I just I, I just can't wait to get into this pack and play with it. Um, everything to me also screams lesbian. I'm sorry. It does, just does, okay? And the Sims really said, happy pride, lesbians. So, let's go, lesbians. Let's go. Um, yeah, this is your first first time watching me you don't know but i am a lesbian so yeah um <laughs> thanks again but anyway thanks for watching have a good day i love you all and i will see you guys later Tura. yeah i forget the next couple lines but uh, there it goes Secret